Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler, teaching electromagnetics. In this video, I'm going to relate the charge current continuity relationship here, which we derived in the previous video, and we're going to relate it to the KCL, the Kirchhoff's current law, which is here on the right hand side. So, in the previous video, we derived this relationship uh, using a cube that looked something like this, and we said the cube was full of charges, the charges were uh, leaving with some uh, density, char uh, current density like this, and we had a bunch of currents leaving it, and we derived this, this continuity uh, relationship which said the divergence of the current density is equal to the negative uh, change of the charge density with respect to time. Now what would happen if this, this the charges in here, they're, they're moving in and out, but eventually they re reach some steady state where all of a sudden the change in this charge density is no longer changing with respect to time and it reaches a constant. Well, if that was the case, this part would go to zero. So our continuity, this divergence of the current density would be equal to zero at steady state. Now this steady state property is something that you probably without knowing it used in your circuits classes. So when you're deriving all of your uh, most basic circuits, like in your first classes, you probably had looked at some circuits like this and you analyze them. Now what you didn't know is that you were just assuming that this circuit had been on for a very long time, nothing was really changing anymore. Now that means that when you're learning your very first circuits things, you're actually dealing with the uh, steady state uh, situation, the steady state property of those circuits. So for the continuity equation, this steady state, it just means that the divergence of the current density is equal to zero. Okay, so if, if we know that this is equal to zero in steady state, let's go back to another relationship that we derived uh, in the process of deriving the continuity equation, which is where we had uh, these two integrals being equal to each other. So this is an early step in the continuity equation derivation. And in this, on the left-hand side, we have a closed surface integral of the current density, and it was equal to this integral on the right-hand side. So this is another way of expressing that continuity equation. And in this expression, at steady state, this part goes to zero, and we can also express, so we can equivalently express this divergence of j being equal to zero as this um, closed surface integral being equal to zero. Now let's see then how this relates to the KCL as you are most familiar with it. So if we have a bunch of these uh, currents, J1, 2, 3, we could have an infinite number of, of these Js leaving small surfaces. If all of those uh, Js leaving these small surfaces are each equal to some current, when we reach steady state, what that means is that the sum of all of these j charge current current densities leaving these small surfaces would add up to being equal to zero so then the total surface so if the total surface encompassing everything even the sides we can't see is this integral s we would say that the total current leaving that cube is equal to zero so some uh, so at the steady state the total amount of current would be equal to zero and that is equivalent to the the KCL that you are probably uh, most familiar with, which says right at the node of your circuit when you're at steady state, we can write our KCL like this, where we have some currents going into the node, some currents going out, and you could have um, many many currents all the way up to I n if you had n nodes, and you could write the KCL this way. So from what we've seen here, we can use the continuity equation, we can use this um, continuity equation relationship for a uh, in, in electromagnetics and we can relate it to the KCL as we saw in our earliest circuits classes. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.